Now the bait that I get asked more questions about than any other is how to prepare pellets to go on the method feeder. And to be honest, it's, it's relatively easy as long as you follow a few simple rules. The first thing is you need to be using small pellets, ideally two or three mil, and you can use any kind of pellets. If I've given a preference, I'll use a halibut pellet or a dedicated feed pellet like this, rather than just a coarse fishery pellet, just because they're a bit more attractive. But then you can use liquid additives on a plain coarse fishery pellet to boost them up if you want to. But it's dead, dead easy with a pellet like this. So I'm using a two mil today. And all I'm going to do is put enough for a couple of hours fishing in a big tub. And then I'm going to find my phone because I need to time this bit. Find the timer on my phone. There we go, stopwatch. And I'm going to pour some lake water. There we go, enough just to cover the pellets. Start the timer. And there's a really simple rule to follow here. For every one millimetre size of the pellet, give them one minute to soak. So today I'm using a two mil pellet, so I'm going to soak them for two minutes. If I was using a three mil pellet, it'd be three minutes. It's as simple as that. And this isn't really going to soften the pellet up straight away. But what will happen is some of the water will get absorbed into the, the outer coating of the pellet. And over time that will get uh, absorbed further in and really soften the pellets up without making them too wet. Well, that's my two minutes just about up now. So what I'm going to do is carefully tip off all of the excess water. And what I normally do, just use my hand. There we go, there's a bit of a sieve. Get as much of that water off as you possibly can. Especially with these small pellets, it's important that they're not soaking for too long. Otherwise, I'll just turn to mush. There we go. And then spread those pellets out. And as you can see, they're nice and wet now. All soaked through. Now I'm going to put the lid on. Give them about 10 minutes just to soak up the rest of that moisture and then they should be soaked right through and ready to go. Again, the bigger the pellet, the longer you want to leave them. So 10 minutes is about the minimum, but you can leave them for a lot longer than that and it won't come to any harm as long as they're in an airtight container. Well, the pellets have had about 10 minutes now and each brand of pellet will take a slightly different amount of time to soak through, but a good way to test them is grab a handful and just give it a squeeze to see if they stick together but then break up nice and easily. Or just get a few in your hand and just pinch them and see if they squash down nicely. Just shows that they've soaked right through. And that's about all there is to it really. Keep them uh, covered up and uh, they'll keep all day really. You could even freeze them if you want, if you've got some left over at the end of the day. And then just for loading on the feeder, it's dead, dead easy. Another mistake that uh, quite a few people make is they don't push them on hard enough. So you want to give them pretty good squeeze especially if you're fishing a venue that's quite deep then you don't want them pellets coming up on the off on the drop or um, as the feeder hits the water um, and there we go let's drop it in the tank and see what happens there we go and what I'm looking for really is a breakdown over a couple of two or three minutes I don't want them to break down straight away um, because if, if they do that means they've probably fallen off on the drop and you can see these are nice and sticky. It's not going to break down too quickly. Give the carp or bream or whatever you're fishing for a nice patch of food to home in on. Really, really good presentation. And that will slowly break down over the next two or three minutes. You can see more water being taken on. The beauty of this method is that because the pellets are soaked through, but they're not overly wet, then uh, as soon as they go into the water, they start taking on more water. And that means they expand and start breaking down. So it works really, really well. And there you can see why the method is so effective. You're just left with that brilliant pile of pellets with your hook bait right in the middle. That's why I like to use a hook bait that's a different color, often like a bright pink or bright orange, just so it really stands out against the dark pellets, gives the fish something to focus on.